in the 15th and final round. Oh, and Ali comes in again. In 1975, I had a ringside press pass to the Muhammad Ali Chuck Wepner fight in Cleveland at the Coliseum. But he wants to send this crowd home with memories of the old Ali. And I knew that when I was there, this was something special. You could tell by the energy in the air, the people that were there, the excitement, that this was truly a moment in history. And I think that's why all these years I kept the original program from the fight. And it's all over. It's all over. Chuck Webner beaten in the 15th and final round. I've been a collector since I've been a kid. These are two items from the golden age of advertising. You don't have to be Jewish to love Levy's rye bread. This is the Dr. Seuss nuzzle pus ashtray. This is really historically significant. It represents Schick's idea of the excess powers trying to take the Panama Canal. My grandparents had lost their only son, my mother's only brother, my uncle Jerry Degenstein. He was killed in 1944 fighting with the United States Army 26th Infantry Division. A horrific death being murdered by the Nazis. It impacted their life so negatively. My grandparents had always asked me, and my mother as well, that somehow try to keep my uncle's memory alive. And that catapulted me into not just keeping my uncle's memory alive, but there were 50, 60 million people killed in the Second World War, 6 million Jews. And I thought to myself, let me try to tell the story and bring to light the voices of those people who can no longer speak for themselves. Collecting, if you do it at a high level, it's a very demanding lifestyle. I spend enormous amounts of time, energy, finances in building this to do what I think is the right thing. Little booklet, and uh, it's caricatures, very nasty caricatures of Jews. And this is for children, if you can imagine. It's a coloring book. Having been a collector for many, many years, your emotions are up and down. There's times when you really find something that you've been hunting for for years. Um, you're able to acquire it because it fills in a gap in a particular piece of history. But emotionally, that's an up. But when you're dealing with the type of life and death struggles and the murder and, and the despair of so many millions of people, it's hard to be up on this. There's nights where I sit in my office at 1 and 2 in the morning crying how tragic and awful and what would I do in that particular situation. I do have a duty as a human being and as a decent man to do this, to learn and understand what hate, bigotry, and apathy can do to individuals and to the world in general. And if we can succeed at that, then my life has meaning.